Bank branches were once a staple on our high streets, but they're rapidly disappearing, with almost, with almost 6,000 branches having closed across the UK since 2015. Exclusive figures produced by consumer group Which for Good Morning Britain reveal 31 constituencies will be completely without a bank branch by this year, by the end of this year. This means that 2.8 million people will be without a bank in their area. Dave Fishwick from the Bank of Dave is with us in the studio. But before we speak to him, let's see how the people of one of the affected constituencies, Bolton West, reacted to news of high street banking being a thing of the past. I'm not online. I wouldn't want to bank online, even if I was. I, I'd, I'd be terrified of making a mistake. It takes ages to get through, then you put on to automatic people. You never get to t really talk to anybody. So, in my opinion, we have, you have to go into the branch. And if they can't get the banking sorted out, obviously it has an effect on the personal life then as well. They don't cater for the elderly and the disabled. They prefer to get rid of the staff and make more money that way. I'm of a generation that I want that face-to-face -face mm -hmm. contact. I do. And I'm fed up of people higher up who think they know what's best for yeah. us because they don't. Oh, I can hear the whole oh. audience applauding <laughs> and saying, hear, hear. I know, but Bernie businessman Dave Fishwick, founder of the Bank of Dave, is here in the studio. And, Dave, look, the high street banks all say that, you know, we're all changing our behaviour... Um, as consumers of banking, we're using online, we're using our phones, we're going into branches much less. That's why they're closing them. But when you listen to our Vox Pops there, lots of people disagree. What's the truth? Yeah, I was out there in uh, Horwich yesterday speaking to people, yeah. real people, about real problems. That's what we need. We need real people in real banks. And we're closing 54 branches every month. That's one this morning and one this afternoon. That's bonkers. Thousands and thousands of branches have closed. Clearly, speaking to people, they need and want a bank, and exclusively, Good Morning mm. Britain, myself and Kate Hemingway, have gone out there and we've done an exclusive survey with which, and we've got to the numbers, and it really is nearly 3 million people in 31 constituencies all across the UK are going to have no bank branch by the end of 2024. 58% mm. of UK adults actually want to bank in a local branch. That's over half. So where's this place where everybody's saying, oh, hang on a minute, people don't actually want to bank. Banking hubs, they're supposed to be the future. Mm. There's supposed to be 101 of them. There's 31. Now, this will drive you mad, my next sentence. They are saying the reason they haven't opened the other 70 bank hubs is because they can't find empty properties. What about all the banks that are closing? Can, Dave, can you... Uh, do you know what? I am going to have to plead forgiveness. I didn't know what a banking hub was. I thought a banking hub was a bank. And why am I wrong? <laughs> well, 42% of the public that we spoke to didn't know what a banking hub was either. Mm. And that is the problem. Well, it... all credit to more than half the people who did. Yes, If well... there's only 31 of them. And, uh, do you know what? Six million people a day rely on cash. So, what are they going to do? Mm. You know, it's just bonkers. Age UK said four million older people with bank accounts are not managing their money online. So all this nonsense about everybody's online is absolute nonsense. So, older people suffering from digital exclusion, mm. like my mum, 76 years old. She's got a phone, but she doesn't know how to do the digital yeah. side of it and doesn't want to. People ring her up all the time and they get fraud issues. Yes. People need to go into their bank mm. and be able to speak about fraud. I was speaking to somebody in Horwich yesterday that said they're so frightened that they're going to buy a safe. An 80-year-old lady's going to buy a safe and put it at home. I'm like, oh, that's going to be dangerous in itself. Because you're sure. constantly told, aren't you, don't reveal your personal details, don't give a scammer via email your password, and yet, at the same time, go online, put all your personal details mm. in so that you can register for a bank account. If you are not digi-savvy... It is not surprising that people are getting a mixed message and would rather just speak to someone face to face. Absolutely. And we've just had this post office scandal, haven't we? Well, let me tell you something else about the post office. Now, this isn't being talked about. I've had a phone call from a postmaster. And remember, we've had all this scandal. And he said to me, Look, Dave, I'm worried 
We've got people coming in asking for loans, mortgages. We've got people asking about financial information. We've got people asking tons of questions. We're not geared up for this. No. And this is that's where the, the new scandal that's coming. Never mind the other one. This is the second one. So this is where the banking hubs are being established. They are shared banking spaces on the high streets. Hubs offer a counter service operated by the post office where customers of all major banks and building societies carry out regular cash transactions Monday to Friday. They offer a community banker service where customers can talk to their own banking provider about more complicated banking issues. But as you say... There's only the 31 of them. They're going to be busy, ones. aren't they? And the sub-postmasters <laughs> are not the people who can offer financial advice. Well, they sell birthday cards and postage stamps. They don't know about mortgages and advice. Mm. We've got people at Burnley Savings, like David H, my right-hand man, and he manually underwrites, looks at people as people. If they've had a problem in the past, mm. they'll work that out. He'll know if they can have a mortgage or a loan. Where, how can a computer 300 miles away make a decision about a florist in Accrington? Are we sure about this, though? Because, you know, it's really important to have a network of post offices around the country. Yes. Actually, a lot of post offices make quite a lot of their revenue through providing cash services, bill payment, paying in. Uh, I'm often in the queue in the post office where I live and somebody's in front of me is withdrawing some money. It's not a bad thing for the post office to provide Absolutely a hub not. of banking services. I love the post office and I love what they do. All I can tell you is what I'm getting told by somebody that yeah. works They shouldn't be giving mortgages and, advice. And, they and should he's be. worried yeah. about having to give people mortgages, business loans and things. I've got a business that's just contacted me, the Wellsprings. Zach and Catherine on a little restaurant on top of a hill. And they said to me, Dave, when the bank shuts down, it's just about to shut their local bank, where do we get our change from? We can't get a bag of change from the internet for the till. How does that work? Yeah, um, look, four million old people do not manage their money online. As you say, too many people don't know about this very important service, the banking hubs. And Ed, you're right, these services are really important post offices, as we know, absolutely vital to communities, but they don't and shouldn't offer financial advice. Of so the information needs to be much clearer, doesn't it, it for does. people? We, we, and we need people to support. People need a branch. Yep, people need a branch, but the fact of the matter, Dave, is that fewer and fewer people are using their branches, so they're not effectively serving as many people as they did. I guess and somebody's that. got to pay for them. Yeah. So is I it? I mean, should we not have free banking? Should we be paying? a charge to have a bank account which pays for the branches. Well, let's, let's look at what happened in 2007, 2008. You know, the banks were bailed out by the taxpayer. The banks were bailed out again recently in COVID. They were asking for grants and money. Well, they need to remember what they were there for the first place, and they were there to serve the people. I don't want anybody left behind. And these big banks, the decapping and uncapping bonuses. On the other side, I've got people ringing me, wait for it, for a loan for baby milk. Mm. So on one side, and I, we just said, look, take the money. But on one side, we've got uncapping of bankers' bonuses and shutting branches down. On the other side, I've got there a loan for baby milk. And the loan sharks are all there to step in if there's not legitimate ways to get that Do you know help. what? It's as if you were reading my next line well, because there we are. the payday loans are coming back. I did a series about payday loans where I helped get Wonga shut down. They prey on the poor and vulnerable with thousands of percent APR. They will be back. And that's my worry. We do not want to leave anybody behind. I'm Dave, worried. what do you say um, so that we don't leave on a note of, you know, it's all doomed? Banks are rubbish. Right, because, <laughs> because obviously we need our banks. We do. Um, and the people who work in banks are also really valuable. That's why I want to keep them open. Yeah. And what do you say to customers in these situations? What should they do? What we need is... Banks run by the people to benefit the people rather than the bonus culture. I totally get it that millions of people bank online and lots of younger people absolutely love it. We need banks, we need big banks and we need regulators. However, if you take out that bank, I was in Horwich yesterday, if you take out that bank, people are struggling getting to it in the wheelchair. If you put a bank 10 miles away, they can't get no. there to it. We need both. Mm. And banks need to remember what they were there in the first place, Dave, to your, serve the people. Your campaigning on this is really good. There's two scandals we're reporting today. Scandal one, why hasn't the lead actress of Barbie got an Oscar nomination? Why isn't Bank of Dave, the Netflix film, also nominated? What's gone wrong? Well, Although it did around. win Best Feature of 2023. Best Feature Good. Film of 23, and Bank we're about to start filming the sequel. Well, Bank you can of see Dave that on Netflix. Too. And Beckler on X. We need people like Dave in government, people who actually care. Chancellor Dave, Prime Minister Dave. Well, you know. Yeah.
There's, uh, al David, there's always potential you. vacancy. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much. Such Brilliant. A, such important words.